hello guys and welcome back to this video so in today's video tutorial we're going to be talking about buy bid futures trading and i want to show you a very simple um, trading strategy using moving averages okay uh, on everything i'll be explaining will be on the buy bid mobile app all right i'll show you how to customize your moving averages on buy bid mobile app how to do your technical analysis okay using this moving averages on my bid mobile app and then how to take a trade with this same strategy all right if you don't have a bybit account already use the link in the video description to sign up for one or you can use the link on my bio to sign up for a bybit account all right so you can join us on telegram all right we have a whole lot of free signals that we share the daily make sure you use the link in the video description on my bio to join us on telegram and take advantage of all that we share there for you every day okay so the first thing i want to do is to come to this option where we say trade okay the trade option once you click on it right here okay you will see at the top that i'm on the spot trading option okay but when we trade features or perpetual control we go to the features option all right so since we are talking about buy bit features trading i'll go ahead and click on the features trading option so here you can see that we have you know we can customize our margin we can customize our leverage then we can buy long or sell short all right so that's what you see right here okay so the first thing we want to do since we are using moving average okay before we even talk about trading we need to go to this option where it says chart all right so once you select the features option go to the chart option let's customize our chart let me go ahead and customize that chart for you so click on the chart option now once you click on the chart option what you can see right here is that i'm on the daily time frame okay so to be able to see like you can see here i have the five minutes the 15 the one hour four hours and then the daily to be able to see your own time frame right here, okay you need to click on the more option right here for so if i click on that more option you see this option right here then you can see down here where it says customize intervals okay so click on the arrow there to customize your intervals let me go ahead and click on that you can see these are the ones that i've selected okay so all these ones that i've selected are the ones that are showing up right here okay so when next i want to switch from one time frame to another i don't need to click on more again all right so you can just customize your own and then go ahead and click on confirm once you finish doing that all right so that is about the time frame and we're back to the five minutes so let's go back to the daily time frame okay right here the chart is plain there is no indicator on the chart okay there's no indicator on the chart so um what i want to do if i scroll down here guys all right if i scroll down here these are all the default indicators that you can use on the mobile app right if you need more features definitely you need it a trading via can the link to will be in the video description to sign up for one or you can use the mobile the web version of it okay so yeah so these are all the indicators now all of them are grayed out okay so it means that no indicator is active as you can see on my chart here there is no indicator that is active on the chart so if i want to use the bollinger bands for instance this one symbolizes the bollinger bands okay so if i keep, click on that one you will see that the Bollinger Band will be added to the chart. Now, you will not see the Bollinger Band because we are looking at a new pair. Okay, the trade, the pair that I'm looking at right here is newly listed. So there's no much data for the Bollinger Band to start giving you, you know, an option. Let's say 15 minutes. Yeah, if you go to the lower time frame, you can see there's enough data on the 15 minutes. You can see right here that the Bollinger Band has been added to the chart. If I click on the Bollinger Band again, okay, you see that it goes off. All right. If I want to add, let's say I want to add um, the parabolic star, you see that it comes up. Okay. Any of these indicators right here that you click, you can scroll. Okay. Right here, the one that is active here is the stochastic RSI. That is why it is active. If I go ahead and click on it, it goes off. Right. So that's how you can activate all the indicators that are here. But the one I'm concerned with in this video is the moving average. Okay. Which is the EMA. That's the one I want to use. All right. So what I can do right now is to go ahead and click on the EMA. Once I click on the EMA, you see it, it gets applied to the chart, all right? 
so you can see that i have two lines here by default maybe your own will be showing three lines or it will be showing 10 lines or whatever is showing okay whatever number of lines is showing we are going to customize that all right um the same customization i'm showing you in this video is the same thing you will do for everyone so what i want to do to be able to set up this i only need one moving average for this strategy okay so what i want to do is to click on the setting icon right here all right so i'll go ahead and click on that setting icon once i click on it the next thing i want to do is to click on indicators all right so go ahead and select indicators now that I'm on the indicators, what we are doing is the EMA. The EMA is the moving average exponential. Okay, so that's the one. If it is moving average, you can go ahead and customize it here. If it is Bollinger Band, you customize it here. Okay, if it is the parabolic SAR, you can do that. If it is volume, any of these indicators you want to customize, you click on it. But mine is the moving average exponential. I'll go ahead and click on it. So once I click on it, you see all of these moving averages here will open up. All right. So you can go ahead if for instance you want to use all of the moving average go ahead and check them all right but i only need one moving average so i'll go ahead and uncheck this second one okay so i'll go ahead and uncheck that and then for the first one all right for the first one the length of this ema i want it to be 25 so i'll go ahead and type 25 there instead of eight so i'll go ahead and type 25 right there instead of eight now once i type that all right one thing you cannot do here is to adjust the color all right you don't have the option to adjust color on bybit so whatever different color that you prefer okay if you don't like this color you can choose this one or this one any of these colors you like you can go ahead and select that option and then you tweak the length of the moving average to what you want all right then i'll go ahead and click on the confirm option and then i'll go back okay and then close this option right okay so you can see here that what i have right here for the deep token is my 25 moving average okay basically the way we use this moving average okay on all time frames okay on all time frame whenever the moving average is trading and facing upward okay we know that we are in an up, uh, uptrend okay and then when the moving average all right is facing downward the way it did here we know that we're in a downtrend so we'll be looking for sales all right so when the moving average is facing upward this way we want to see the candles okay trading above the moving average all right for as long as the candle trades above the moving average you're looking for buys all right and then if it is in a downtrend okay for as long as the moving the candlesticks okay trades below the moving average okay you are in a downtrend so you'll be looking for sales all right it's as simple as that all right i use this mostly when i want to scalp and i use it on the five minutes 15 minutes time frame and all of that okay so when the market is sideways and moving sideways you don't do anything like right here you see that the moving average was flat and then the market is moving sideways so you don't do anything you only wait for the candlestick to start moving above the moving average and then you start looking for trades okay so one thing you can equally join with this is you know to understand where your support and resistance are all right so before i start looking for buy i can see that there is a, a resistance above this market so i want to wait for a breakout when that breakout happens i can now start taking trades okay so that is you uh, know oh, no. another understanding you need to get maybe we'll talk about support and resistance in a different video and all of that all right so basically what i want to be doing right now is for this particular token now that we are down here okay i would have taken a long trade right here but i missed that i'll wait again if it comes back to this area again i'm going to be taking a trade so what i can do is if i click once on my chart you see this option right here, okay so now if i hold it and drag it okay let's say to that moving average that's where i'm looking at to buy all right i will now see the price at which i want to buy right here okay so once i see that price i will now say okay i'm going to put my stop loss whatever percentage you want to do we go ahead and then take a trade for this all right so what i can do right now is to either click on the long or short option to take me to the trading interface okay or i can click at the top here okay to take me to the trading interface or i can click on the trade option here all right to switch to the trading interface so any of those ones you click on it will still bring you right here 
now currently you see the scale order i've talked about um, you know scaled order if you want to know how to use a scaled order make sure you watch out that video okay go check out that video but i've talked about scaled order but right here i'll go ahead and use the limit order so let's go back again and see where i wanted to buy that is at 0 0.045 4567 okay so i'll go ahead and select all right right here i'll select limit then i'll type the price at which i want to buy right here and um let's say it is zero okay i can just click anywhere here for the price to enter there so and then i'll go ahead and i did that all right 0 0.05567 or so okay then here is where you put the amount you can use this slider to slide it to the end all right to see the amount that you want to buy and then the next thing you want to do is to use don't slide it to the end if you have i don't have enough money here that's why i have to slide this to the end all right and then the leverage is always 10x leverage you can increase this leverage if you want to okay i always trade on cross margin but you can use isolated margin if you want to all right so the next thing is to set tp and sl your take profit and your stop loss option okay so if i go ahead and click on it and click on set tp and sl all right so i can use this slider you can put whatever you want to okay so if it goes by 150 percent okay at this price i'll be taking profit or I can equally set, you know, the take profit myself by typing whatever I want. Let's say 0.09 we want to sell, okay? And then that will be at 900%, okay? And then you put the stop loss too, all right? So I can just use the slider, all right? So if it goes against me by minus 75%, I'm out. Then I click on confirm. And that is basically the next thing is to go ahead and click on open log. All right. Remember when I set that, um, you know, take profit and stop loss option. Okay. When I set that take profit and stop loss option, I did that on the long option. So if, for instance, I was going to take a short, I would just select the short option and then go ahead and set up all of this. All right. So that's basically how you do that. After that, you go ahead and click on open long or open short. It all depends. So because I set my take profit and stop loss on open long, I'll go ahead and open long and your trade will be pending. So once you buy long or sell short, okay, your trade will be pending because the price is not the current market price, right? We want to buy when it goes lower. So your pending trade will be showing on the orders here. Then when it triggers, just like this one you're seeing here, it should go on the open position option. All right. So right here, once your trade is triggered, you can equally set TP and SL once the trade is opened already. You can set trailing stop. And then if you want to close the trade, you click on this close buy option. Okay, what we say take partials and you click on that close buy option, you can equally take partials by taking either 10% of that capital out, 20, 50% and all of that. All right, I have separate videos that talk about all of these things. So that's basically it, all right? That's basically everything you need to know about Bybit futures trading. Let me know if there is any other thing you want me to treat on a video tutorial, then my next video tutorial will be about your concerns. Okay, so use the comment section. And if you have gained value from the video, give it a thumbs up. Once again, if you want to have access to our free signals, okay? Join us on Telegram using the link on my bio or in the video description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.